sweet. We are going live here, so we do know there are at least one pause. I guess I guess we know there are two pauses. By the way, uh, yes, I know, chat. I'm sorry, chat. Uh, I think it'll work itself out eventually. Um, eventually, the, the people will, will they'll they'll get their fingers will become sore from too much control V. Ing. More live, Justin. Mix up is gonna be on blue, which means the red team is gonna be the Madmen, and they need this match. The green text tells me that it's official. We're going to mid no, fight number one, and I've watched the Madmen play. Their mids have been pretty sloppy. Let's check the Ubers. Quick fix in the hands of the Joker. Uh oh. And uh, for red, it is a crit freak. So right off the bat, we'll see that platinum is gonna go down first to Mike. Harbalu gets, uh, I think it was the equalizer crit onto blank, and uh, Seymour is gonna push up onto Siegel. So two down on both sides. I do believe red is gonna take this. Quick fix at 80%, and actually a great job by Nosferatu building his crits is gonna have it. Now we're in this weird. Position as Harbalu Enigma go down where Joker has an uber but it's not really a great push into crits Justin I'm not sure what they're gonna do well I mean yeah I guess you could uh, kind of push out a little bit it looks like they're gonna try to get something going right now I think it's what? Whoa, whoa, there. it's actually like you were saying Alec the crits is gonna totally drop the Joker wow so that's how the first crits gonna completely nullify the uh, quick fix couldn't even Think about getting in the air before the drop comes in. Mike is going to go down. Blue is just going to jump in, do as much as they can. Smack a, the first death into a push. Your medic down. What are you going to do as we are going to pause? The match um, goes to a halt here. I'm kind of nervous about this. Um, chat blowing up. They they know the the ramifications of this game. I think the Mad Men are becoming something of a of a crowd favorite, a community favorite. Justin really see a lot of people after that HRG match getting behind them, and uh, a lot of cheers in the chat went up. Yeah. Okay, they put down their dongers just long enough to cheer for uh, the RR crit sticky. Well, they had the odds stock stacked against them uh, with their schedule, and um, they did have that excellent showing against HRG, and now they're here. They have, you know, it's, it's do or die right now, and um, that was a great, great crits pop um, from the Mad Men. I was kind of, you kind of caught me off guard because I was thinking, well, Uber is better than crits, but no, it's not. Um, especially when you can sit back in a map like this, as I think we're on. Oh. No, paused again. Just I think that's letting the guy, probably Enigma, come right. back into the game. Um, you know, eventually, I think year nine after release, Valve will, will patch that out. You think maybe? Oh, we're live. Okay, so Enigma is dead here. I'm not sure exactly what's going on in the game. Seymour goes down to Platinum's bomb, not a priority target, and uh, both scouts are on respawn here. Now, when you have the point, your respawns are significantly slower than the team that doesn't have the point, so those deaths will come back and play a factor here. If Blue decides to push, and they are. Seagull and the Joker are up, but look at Memphis Vaughn! He's got so far in! RR is going to combine onto the Joker, and that is a dead combo. Uh, Blue is going to get a few more, but Memphis Vaughn causing all sorts of havoc in the back of three-on-three. -three. Medic's still alive. Nosferatu needs to surf out Will. Seymour with the flank. Hello. He's got two, both Platt and Enigma. Moose is now caught in that right side uh, doorway, and he is so dead. And wow. there it goes. Wow. So Seymour look at right the time. There. Yeah. Yeah, definitely Seymour right there, saving the point uh, and saving the time for his team, taking down a whole bunch with his scattergun. Uh, and now we can see, like you said, Madman taking away. More than half their time is gone, and Mixup have yet to get on the point, Alex. Yeah, Nosferatu's gonna pop his crits. The bomb did come in from Harbaloo, but look at RR! Surgical with his crit stickies right now. Drops Seagull. Now, uh, the Joker does have his uh, quick fix at 80%, but again, you know, Quick Fix is really good, and it's going to, you know, against crits that's not going to be there, it's going to be pretty strong, but, man, you almost wish you're building, you have your Uber, you kind of wish it was regular Uber, because Quick Fix is kiteable. Um, well, we'll see here. 50 seconds left on the board. Madman with a dominating first round. Could they ace it? Harbalu goes down at the start of this push. There is your Quick Fix. We'll see how it plays in. RR dies. Memphis Vaughn is going to die, and that's going to be the first point in the hands of Blue as uh, Platinum goes down towards the end of that push, so, um, yeah, well, the quick fix worked, but now the repush, Nosferatu at 90. Yeah, I expect this crit to come in any second right now, it's just a matter if the Men, Men can, keep, can keep bodies up uh, in order to use this crit, mix up knowing that the crits are up, are trying to get their medic way out of there, you can see Enigma going down because he was not at his computer. Um, it was frozen, so recap from Men, Men comes in, now they only have 40 seconds left uh, before they take oh the first my. round. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god, you see who's playing Scout right now for blue? 
Um, okay, well there's been a substitution. Apparently Enigma's internet's so bad that they had to dig into the depths of South America and pull out a power. Oh my lord. Alright, that's gonna make this a little interesting. We'll see if Sniper comes into play. Big bomb by Harbor who drops the combo. Nosferatu Memphis. 15 seconds left on the board here on the clock, and only the Joker is alive, and he's got 1% Uber quick fix building in spawn, but whoa, power? Crazy. Interesting substitution. Here come the bombs. The medic bomb gets taken out. Seymour very big right now. Seymour with a quad kill to end the round. Uh, he had two in that last fight, and then he cleaned up the combo as they jumped in. So the first round goes to the fighting madmen. This game might get absolutely nutty. Okay, so the first round into Mad Men. They need to get three more and then win tomorrow to get into land. Right now, AG's got to be looking at each other and mumble. Well, listening to each other and mumble like, oh man, this is not good because Enigma is such a good player and he's just, I guess, too laggy to play. Uh, your mix-up's going to have a comeback mid. They're going to clean up the combo right away. Seymour and RR trying to bring it back here, but uh, there is just too much blue right now. There go the rest. Only Seymour remains. He's on the combo and that's a seagull pipe for clean mid win. I don't think any mix-up members died there? No, two did, and they, they spawned, but, um, yeah, we're staying on the Ubers here, Justin. Crits in the hands of Nosferatu, and the Joker has a forward hold with his quick fix, so we'll see how it plays when they have advantage. Yeah, and I really like that we're getting to see this fix versus crits right away. Um, we sort of theory crafted in the, in the pregame as a bunch of kills are exchanged on the right flank. Mixup actually loses two, um, but Mammon are going to lose three, and now there's a scout fighting uh, Seymour. Seymour goes down to Moose. Uh, Moose is now on the medic in the spawn. He's got very low health at 11. Finally, you must Mike comes back to save his medic. Um, but almost a, a, a tragic moment for Mad Men as they almost lost their medic in spawn. Yeah, the forward hold is going to be abandoned while they wait for respawns. Mix up is going to sit on their side of point. Remember, Smack is actually going to pop his, his quick fix, and this is exactly what Platinum is going to love. So he's going to jump in with Smack. They're taking so much damage, but just healing it right back. Mike is going to win a 1v1 against Power, and the crits does come in and drop the Joker. That crits built so fast, I didn't even see it. Platinum is alive behind the team right now. Big bomb by Seagull! Got him! Nosferatu goes down. The team just didn't, I guess, see it. the demo fly over their heads. And, and okay, so not so bad for mix up. They are going to lose a point. They got a nice minute 10 uh, runoff there. Uh, minute 12, if you want to be exact. And now their time is going to start. But Medic needs to spawn. Qu quick fix will be up early. Yeah. In fact, I think they'll probably just push in as soon as they get there. Yeah, that's a perfect scenario for mix up. They were there. They have the forward spawn now that they um, that they lost cap. Uh, and they killed the other team's medic, so they can just play heals right now. And they're going to edge the point. The other team has no heals, uh, trying to get something going. But you can see Memphis Vaughn tried to bomb in. Seagull took him out. Seymour is going to take down Harbour. And actually, uh, Memmon are mustering some sort of a fight here, taking down three. But they're losing four in the process. You must Mike is, uh, kills Platinum, and now he's on the combo. He's trying to do anything. Um... Now he's trying to cap, but he's got 43 HP, Alex. He is a brave young man here. He's pushing right into the heart of this. <laughs> actually, he's still alive. This scout is biffed terribly. I'm not sure if it's power. He's actually going to force the pop. Didn't want his scout to die. Uh, they're going to push forward with a quick fix, but... I mean, it's good, but you're pushing straight into red there. That scout was power. He is dead. Um, the other scout, Moose, comes in to trade with Memphis Vaughn here. A minute 10 left on the clock on this second round here for Mixup. Nosferatu gets caught by Seagull, who's having a very strong round. No crits now. Comes the bomb onto RR. He's just going to get cleaned up here. Only three alive. Memphis Vaughn is in his spawn. Uh, crits is now just starting to be built. Mike is back going just crazy as possible. Memphis gets a nice bomb on the plat. He's gonna rebomb. He's thinking about using the market gardener. He's got in his back pocket there. Um, he actually might get the cap. They do so. I like this play by the Madmen. I thought they were done for sure there, but they got back and uh, jumped in. I think the crit shovel just missed there. Uh, quick fix is pop, Justin, and that's gonna yep. be a recap. So, um, pretty, pretty hard comeback uphill battle here for Red. They're down by a lot of time. Very chaotic, chaotic middle. Um, but we're seeing these Ubers, the or these non-Ubers, the quick fix and the crits playing uh, a big part of the pace of the match as. Vidux is crazy, um, but nobody's giving up the point. Nobody's playing uber advantage. They don't have to worry about it. Uh, they're just getting in there and trying to do a whole lot of damage. Uh, here's a nice air shot onto Harbour. Harbour goes down. Blank getting the cleanup kill. And now we have all of Mad Men with their 100% uh, crits. They're getting ready to push up and trying to catch the mix-up team as they get ready to move out. Yeah, they're, they're not really doing a uh, forward or back hold. It's, it's sort of an in-between hold. I guess they're kind of up on the right side. They do have crits. Uh, Joker has regular Uber. Crits was pop. Not sure what they saw. Our R's throwing his stickies. Oh, they completely biffed the spy. crits. Cree. Got nothing. Harbour and spy. there's a, spa, a spy as well. We saw this a lot uh, last week. Harbour just playing all the... Uh, 
uh, pick classes he wants right now, and he's gonna come in right now. I'm not sure if uh, if Red's gonna see it. They did got a rocket shot at him, but no, he was just kind of shooting behind. And Harbaloo, I don't know what he's doing. We're gonna go back for uh, the medic here, but look at the blue pushes. He got cleaned up, and Harbaloo did end up going down. The Joker and Platinum pop quick fix, but they're by themselves, and they're about to get surrounded here, uh, getting shoved up in the air. The Joker's trying to tether his his pocket. Platinum's still alive somehow. Please, Blank is gonna or R and Blank are gonna kill the medic, and there goes Platinum. Time 125 and counting comeback. I said it was very far uphill and, and very hard, challenging comeback, but they're doing it. Only down a minute now. Yeah, and, and with the Ubers that both teams are using, it's really just a DM on middle right now. Harblue spent that entire round walking from one end to the other. Finally killed by a blank rocket jump, so unfortunate end to him. The crits are popped for the madman. R is going to take down Platinum. Harblue also goes down. Blank takes down Power, and we have a heavy Memphis yeah. Bond cleaning up on Moose. Moose able to take down the red demo in the process, though. Um, so we have Smacka now with 30-40%. Uh, Nosferatu with... Uh, he's going to be taking up 30%. Yeah. And uh, we have that heavy on middle. Well, we're, times are getting very close right now. 47 seconds and counting to the 24 for Mixup. Mixup have not smelled the point for two minutes plus right now. They're going to push in. They have their quick fix. About a 30% advantage, but there is a heavy on middle. And uh, he is just going to hold this Russian ground here. Dump out quite a bit of damage. Uh, nice push there. Quick fix is popped. The heavy did get Harbaloo. Quick fix is trying to get in as deep as possible. 76% crits. RR is on mid right now fighting the combo by himself. Is going to get cleaned up. Did get a scout uh, to trade with there. Fighting Platinum and Blank are going to shoot each other with rockets. And actually Seymour is going to get Platinum. Five seconds left on the clock. 90% crits still. Nosferatu hasn't been able to build at all. He's going to have his scouts and a roamer on the point. Here comes the bomb though by Harbaloo. Oh, he does get the medic. Huge pick for Harb. They do get the point. 25 seconds. But I don't know if they're going to be able to hold this. The Joker is up and is at 80% with his quick fix. And they probably can just push in and take it right here. RR so low. I don't think they have a chance to hold this, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, Harbaloo with the fadeaway, enabling his team to get their uh, quick fix and come right into middle. They're just going to treat this as a DM. Here they are. They're getting on the point, the recap. Uh, the madmen right now do not have heals. The medic finally gets to middle, but Power is going to take down Blank, who's equalizing away. Um, still trying to cap the point, so we're in overtime. Times three. Whole wow. lot of action on the middle. Only the Devilman left alive, and he's going to get cleaned up. Mix up are going to even it out. It's 1 1. Well, tell your friends, kids. I have a feeling this is going to go down to it here. Um. Boy, I don't know if medics are gonna stay with what they've do, what they have been doing with their loadouts here. Oh man, it just seems like someone goes regular Uber and gets that. That's just gonna win you a lot of time. Uh, but they're staying with it. Quick fix, smack a uh, Crits Creek for Nosferatu. Very, very interesting. Um, certainly can't say one's cr uh, countering the other. Uh, first kill on this third mid is going to go to Mike onto Moose. Pretty passive though for the combo. Seagull's gonna go down to the, the Romer bomb, and I think Harbaloo as well is gonna go down. There he is. Only Mike has died for red, and that is going to be mid, a passive mid, Justin, for the Mad Men, but they uh, just kind of took it. Now they have crits, and they're gonna stay back. Yeah, you must Mike opened up the door with that kill onto Moose, uh, and from there, the rest of the team huddled together, and they pushed out as a collective team, um, and now they have their crits on. The crits are actually popped. There's a crit sticky under the Joker's feet. Uh, it's going to be dead, and the Joker's going to go down. He was nearing his quick fix Uber, um, but we do have a lot of blue guys coming in. Platinum's trying to get in the backfield. He's at 22 HP, and he's pulling out the equalizer, so he's got that mini crit damage that he's <laughs> taking. Uh, there we go. Memphis Vaughn cleans him up. Uh, Seiko's going to take down you, must Mike. And we have a sniper, actually, by Power. Uh, so oh I'm going to throw that over God. to you. Okay, so story time, kids. I played Power. He's going to die right away, so story time will have to wait. Let's just say that Power has done dirty, dirty things on Sniper on this map before. Uh, actually, Seymour's going to get a double while I was um, thinking of old-time TF2 as... Nice. Uh, about a minute opened up here in the beginning of this third round for the Mad Men. Red looking very good. And Mixup is just not going to wait this time. They're going to go right in. Ubers are pretty much even, but Quick Fix is going to build just slightly more, uh, slightly quicker, I should say. Seagull goes down. Mike with a nice trade, playing very aggressively, is you must Mike. Takes the demo out of the fight here, which is going to give his team an advantage. There's the Crits Creek pop. Onto RR, and he's not gonna find the Joker who's just bopping up and down with his uh, medic. Power goes down to Memphis. Harbaloo was behind, I guess. Jumped on, said hello, and then jumped out goodbye. Um, in the meantime, Mixup's gonna march forward on the point. There's the second bomb by Harb! Got him with help of this team. Nice play by Mixup. They didn't account for the roamer behind, and there's a wipe. So. Great time, minute 30, ran off, minute 29 if you want to be a dick. And now Mixup's got their turn to run it off. Pow is still sniping. 
That was a great play from Mixup. While Harblue was in the air, the rest of the team just tightened the vice, uh, and Mad Men got caught in the trap, and they, they all went down. We can see right now the Joker is at 84%. Nosferatu sticking on that crits. He has to, he's kind of forced to stick on that crits the way that, um, unless he goes quick fix himself. Um, but I like that he's staying on the crits. Now the quick fix is up. You must Mike's gonna open up things with the kill on Siegel. You know, also, the funny thing is, uh, you know, we got to call this action here. Harbalu goes down. Platinum is just looking at the combo. He's got 250 permanent because the quick fix is on him. He's not going to be able to kill Nas, who's at 70% back in his spawn. In the meantime, his team, the flank, is getting shut down. In fact, there comes uh, the flank going onto Smack Up. They you will get him. Uh, you must Mike and RR are going to combine onto him. Here comes the bomb uh, by Platinum trying to get something to happen here. Does actually combine for a double RR and Mike. A uh, little rocket shoddy action going to shut it down. Siegel actually as well. Here goes the crit. Oh, it's just a crit shotgun for Blanket. No, he's dead. Switches it to the crit scatter. Seymour did get hard but his medic is going to die. Crucial 1v1. One by Seymour there. The times are going to pass each other soon. 142 and counting, but red is going to cap. Pow is still sniping. Is yet to hit a headshot, surprisingly. Yeah, uh, maybe Power was not expecting to come into this match, not warmed up, but look at Seymour right now. He's got 41 points. Um, he is at the leaderboard on both teams, uh, and I am very impressed with how he's playing. Two dominations, he's playing excellently. Yeah, um, so story time. That team, by the way, uh, Paul Power for you uh, TF2 historians, not too long ago, did uh, play a couple seasons with this Mad Men team, was their uh, sort of star scout sniper, and now he's playing against them in the most important match of their TF2 lives. Very interesting. Uh, Power does go down to blank, and the quick fix is going to get popped here, trying to get back in. Uh, Mixup will probably take the point. Look at the flying blue team, <laughs> just, just going through the air here. And they're going to drop Nostratu. Lovely play by Blue. Look at the aggression. And that is going to clean up everybody but Mike, who's behind at 40 health, just looking at everybody, does find Harbaloo. Interesting, just kind of decided, like, I'll just shoot this guy, and turned out he was the low one. Uh, but now the time, nice uh, setup here for Blue, can run off a lot of time here, 48 seconds for Red, 120 and counting for Mixup. That's not so bad for Red at all, um, you can see they have the short spawn, spawn. so uh, Harbaloo is going to be dead for this push, we do have 6 up for the Mad Men, they know it, they're getting ready to, to push right in. Har uh, in the meantime, Power is still on Sniper, so they are down some aggressive uh, classes on the blue team. Here comes the quick fix. It, it is popped. 67% for Nosferatu has hightailed it out of there as Mammon are playing it very tentatively trying to get that uh, crits in time. Yeah, I think they might just leave Powell full-time sniper here. I don't think he's made too much of an impact, but remember, no Uber, so at any time, Nosferatu's... Oh, there he goes! Wasn't a headshot, was a body shot, had his crits, Power took it away. Oh, uh, what can Red do now with their medic down? They're gonna try to circle around. Siegel at 13 health, deep in Red's base. Might actually make it out. RR is gonna go down, but Red is capping behind Siegel, who is picked up by Mike. Um, very strong first half for these uh, two scouts and power domes blank point blank hello and goodbye power does get killed off here reds got the cap look at the times justin 30 for blue 37 and counting for red this round is is going to come down to the wire yeah and unfortunately red team well not unfortunately but they have capped the point so they do have the long spawn and they are down three mix up is at full strength on middle and they're about to have their quick fix it's up for them and they're capping the point so uh, if you're the Mad Men right now, you have a, a little bit of time to, to gather your strength and try to get out there, but you really got to get the ball going. We haven't seen a lot of full-time sniper on this. This is always the strat. Um, they changed the map, made the sight lines a little bit worse. Used to be very, very strong, as as you know, Justin. But um, now not as strong, but Pow is so good and uh, has, a, has a nice ping to accompany his uh, skill. Here we go. Crits is up. RR's got to make something happen here. Memphis Vaughn is going to go down right away to the headshot. Here comes the crits. Do get the medic. But will it be enough? RR and Nosferatu have to clean up everybody. RR, no. Wow, he did a lot with that crits, but they couldn't get on the point. And that is the second uh, round. Or sorry, yeah, second round for classic mix-up. They are leading a two to one here. Yeah, um, unfortunately with that crits, you have to use it. Uh, you have to use the majority of it, trying to snipe the medic with the stickies, and that's allowing the rest of the mix-up team to just spread out and collapse on the critsing team. Uh, and you saw that mix-up too strong for a med man. As here we go. Yeah, uh, RR is going to open up this mid. Remember, still running Sniper here. Power doesn't get anything done there. RR is going to punish him and take him out, and that's going to be a, basically a full wipe here. Nice pipe by Siegel trying to protect his medic. They're trying to escape out their right side, and they will. The Joker at 30 still has quick fix. Nosferatu has his crits ready and the point. But if I'm not Sriracha, I'm absolutely terrified because they know he knows Pow is coming back up and he, he doesn't have a way to stop the headshot. I mean, if he can pop crits all he wants, but, um, you know, it's just going to get his life taken. 
Yeah, and here comes the bomb. Hard blue into the skybox right now. Is actually not even gonna go for the health. He's bombing away. He's at 14 HP, picking up the health in the backfield. In the meantime, RR did pop the crits. Uh, he takes out two moose, and another went down. Power the sniper is down, so that's fortunate for the red team. Uh, but now looks like the Joker's gonna go down. He's got 63 on the point. Seymour's gonna Seymour. kill him. Seymour playing very well, uh, yeah. and now, yeah, the point is still in possession of the Man Men, and they are just trying to hold on to it. It's exactly how you play against a sniper room. They always have somebody pressuring Poway. He's not had an opportunity to open up three or four consecutive shots, um, playing, putting him on his back foot. There goes Memphis Vaughn. is going to be able to like Blank is going to drop Powell, and that's what they have to keep doing. Uh, they do lose Memphis, and they might actually lose Blank as well. They do. Blank tried to pull the stick out. Got a mini crit rocket from Harbaloo. Scouts are going to have to try to clean this up for the Mad Men. They just passed the two minutes here, so up to a minute lead. Moose is going to go down. Pressure from Platinum onto the combo. Nosferatu pushed up. Needs to get out right now. The mini crits. Oh, <laughs> got the arrow though. Are you kidding? Nosferatu turned around and dropped Platinum with the mini crit. Oh my lord. So we were seeing the update um, affecting this game in one way, and we just saw it affect the game hugely in another, as the Mad Men have retained their medic. He is alive because of that, uh, that mini crit damage that he was able to deal. But no, it uh, doesn't matter, because Power can deal full crit damage, and he's going to snipe Nosferatu. Nosferatu among the dead right now. Only Seymour and Memphis Vaughn left alive. Yeah, um, this match I keep referring to with Power, he killed all of us a million times. And Memphis Vaughn was on my team for that. Now he is on the Mad Men. Um, and Power is just dome. And there he goes. Memphis Vaughn is going to go down. It's gonna, it's, he's going to have some deja vu here in a little bit. It's going to get frustrating when a good sniper is hitting shots. Oh, man, the forward hole. They're just stuffed him in. Look at Mixup's positioning. They are all over all three doors. They have Power and Siegel left. And the soldiers and the other two uh, scouts are just watching right. The other scout watching right. And uh, boy, <laughs> with crits, Krieg, I don't know how you even get out of this hold. Nosferatu needs to get out with the demo, I guess, and hit a crit and open it up. But man, they are just stuffed in. Yeah, it's gonna move left right now. It is pop. They're gonna try to kill this soldier. They do. Uh, now they gotta get Smacko, who is running away. No! Excellent! Kritzkrieg taking down two more. Siegel and the Joker go down. So RR doing work right there. Uh, now this is uh, Mad Men's cue to push right out. Wow, what a sticky by RR! Just tagged the uh, Smack and Company as they were trying to get back. Beautiful composure by RR. He has so much pressure on him in this game. He has to hit every crit streak. He's getting them. He has to hit them or his team is going to lose. Oh, man. I'm really impressed right now with the Mad Men dealing with all this uh, power just randomly in your game. Dome in your medic over and over again. And they are responding perfectly here. Take the point back. Minute 16 for Mixup. Have a lead in this round. 140 and counting for red. Trying to make a comeback here. Uh, power Company are trying to push out of their doors. Platinum goes down to a charging Mike. Mike and Seymour are beasts as they drop down Moose. Uh, Mike's gonna make it three into Harbalu. Seymour trade one for three. They'll take that all day and uh, they're running off time. About to even it up here. Yeah, we're about to see it again. The, the, the crits versus the fix. I'm gonna say the fix because the quick fix yeah. and the crits Krieg, it's just too many syllables. Arbaloo's spy right now, I'm not sure where he is. We do have both Ubers up. R R! They baited out the crits perfectly, did mix up. R R bricked it, did get moose, but that's not enough. Here comes the push. I'm sure right after this, R R put a crit sticky somewhere. Don't see it. I'm not sure if he deaded it. And now Strachu's gonna have to get back. Here comes the Joker. He's gonna have full cr uh, quick fix, or uh, fix, I guess, if you're Justin. And uh, they're gonna go up on their mountainside, and here he goes, flying in. Popping it right now. Harbaloo right light. behind the medic right now, Alex. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but he went for the backstab and he's totally whiffed on it. He's going to take out the revolver though and kill him anyway. Um, so a nice uh, 007 play from Harbaloo. Yeah, the scouts are going to come in trying to somehow win this fight. They do have RR as well. Uh, they do get, ooh, RR gets domed out by Power. Still, you must Mike there trying to get into Power. Does get him 25 seconds. Wow, they let a lot of time waste in their mix-up. Um, I thought that was their time that was running out, but no, they're still at a minute 10, so plenty of time for uh, the Mad Men to get healed up, uh, get that Chris Creek and come in. Um, you think a good recap with 24 seconds left could win him the game. Here comes that pressure in between, though. Memphis Vaughn actually kind of with the door open up. He's snuck behind. In fact, actually, they're just going to push around this. I love the aggression. The scouts completely outplaying. Moose is in on an island against two very good scouts by himself right now. They're going to clean up three. Seagull, Joker, Powa, who's sniping, and I don't know where he is, but oh, a dome on the mic. Powa is going to get cleaned up, though. Got pushed into the skybox by Memphis this Vaughn, and uh, looks like actually the quick fix is going to get popped in here. Not brought to his crits, though. Where's he at? I'm not sure. He's actually on the point as well. They do with the rocket. Oh, no. Nosferatu couldn't connect with uh, Blank, couldn't hit the crit rocket. Quick fix is done. Oh.
And we're going to pause right now. Look at the time. Oh, my God. Look at the All time. Right, well, Look at the cap. Jeez, that's crazy. So um, both. No, um, Joker is still alive. I don't think he's. Mm, it's hard to say. It's a pretty even fight, honestly. No medic. Why? This game is pretty crazy, Justin. I'm going to catch my breath. Very intense. The power there had an awesome pixel shot uh, on you, Must Mike, who um, typed into into chat uh, the good internet after he died. I believe he was behind the wall, but uh, power with an excellent shot, uh, a pretty close scout headshot. Um, yeah. But yeah, he's dead now, and this fight does look very even. Men are definitely going to cap, um, so it's going to be on. Uh, here we go. We're on. We are live again, uh, and and we have well. I believe we've capped for the they did, they, The HUDs are going to be broken for a little bit, which is terrible because the time is so close. Uh, it's going to be hard for us to keep track. There's about 20 seconds. Um, I'd say about 10 right now for Red as Blue is going to cap and run off their time. In the meantime, uh, Red is in a lot of trouble are the madmen. They're going to have to get healed up here try to find some way in. Power, I think all six are up on my HUD. There's still two dead, but obviously uh, spawns are coming in. Blue is going to try to forward hold and just cram them in. There's not a lot of time left at all. You must. Mike is going to go down. They have to get out these doors. There's stickies holding them in. Can they make it to the point? They have to. Memphis Vaughn is going to go down. They only have four alive for this push, and they're just getting cleaned up. Mix up too good. RR trying, but he's on an island in a dead island. Third round. For mix up, one more in the Mad Men season, effectively over as we go to halftime here. Yeah, and you know it's frustrating for the Mad Men because Power was basically not effective at all on Scout, but he switches over to Sniper and he is taking the, the well, not the match, but certainly a couple of key moments into his hands uh, and is giving mix up a discernible advantage. Uh, a great play from him, and if you're the Mad Men, you have to be scared. Yeah, um, we'll see how they elect if. If any changes, what they want to try to do here. I gotta say, I've not really. I don't think the quick fix has really done that much. I think it's. I mean, it's forcing the, them to go Crits Creek. The rounds are so doing. close. I, I don't know. If maybe you want to go regular Uber. Oh man, the thing is, the story after the game is going to be that Power just showed up and sniped and is really good, and, and that is true. Power's Power is, is quite good, and he's he's had an impact in the game. I just think overall mix-ups playing slightly better, but these rounds are really close, Justin. We're gonna go live here into the second half. We'll see! Door me. Basically, uh, do or die for the Mad Men. They have to come back and win uh, three straight in this second half. They're gonna change colors, so uh, there goes the blue side Mad Men, red side mix-up. Memphis Vaughn is the blue roamer, and he's gotten all the way behind, pretty much unnoticed. Uh, blank. Actually, oh, there goes. He's, enough. he's just gonna hunt Powell, I think, all game long here. Uh, Will Memphis Vaughn. In the meantime, Red does get aggressive themselves. They did drop the blue medic here. This mid very, very close. RR, though, is on the point. <laughs> the, the Joker's still alive. He's gonna have 90% quick fix, which I'm sure he'll just pop and win the mid with, I assume, with Nosferatu not there to stop him. Um, there they go. They're gonna pop right in, and there goes the flying medic. Love that unlock. <laughs> RR is going to go down, and uh, that's going to be a mid-win eventually for Mixup, but very close. Yeah, Harper had an excellent bomb onto Nosferatu early, uh, took him out of the fight. Smacka with that quick fix was able to bomb in. I love it too. I love seeing there it goes uh, the Joker flying through the air as a medic. Love to see that. Uh, and now, if you're the man, man, you have to get something going. There's your entry frag. Harper is down, so this is your cue to push. I was sitting up there on top left, just taking shots, and it was exactly where they got- Oh, the Dos Ratu eats a pipe! He's gonna go down, and actually Mike as well, so um, the entry not good enough. Look at Mix-Up cleaning up everybody. Blank is in, trying to make something happen. Hey, he's gonna get Platinum, he's gonna pepper uh, Power with, with shots, but he's gonna see the Medic fully stacked, and just say, oh man, what do I- what can I do? Seagull's gonna clean him up, and Mix-Up's running up a big lead here. The situation's getting worse and worse as Power is gonna spam a bind there, wow. We're getting to that point where mix up is a wall, and men men are a head just bashing into that wall. Harbu is going to take down Nosferatu again, uh, so very unfortunate for the man men. You must Mike does take down Harbu, he does clean him up, so maybe we can get some aggression going. But no, the mix up players are too strong. Memphis Vaughn to come in and take out the Joker though. Excuse me, R is going to kill Power, Blank's going to kill Moose, uh, and we have a whole lot of excellent frags from the man men. Only Seagull and Platinum left alive. Unfortunately, uh, that was enough as we do see a soldier v soldier oh. fight on the middle, um, but not going to be enough for the Mad Men to cap. 145, they need to get this point right now to the Mad Men, because they have not shown since that uh, round that they won that they can run off a lot of time. Seems like as soon as Powell is up, they, they have to overextend to kill him, and it's kind of caused a domino effect to lose the fight. They do get the first uh, time runoff here on this very crucial round, obviously crucial round. Red is going to enter in pretty cleanly on the right, but no, RR is going to take it. 
and uh, spam him out, get a frag onto Moose, and Powell as well goes down to blank. Uh, Blue Soldier's continually uh, bombing Powell whenever they see him, and they actually got out without losing any there, so that's going to help run off some more time for the Mad Men trying to come back here. The unfortunate thing with Crit Creek too, <laughs> excuse oh! me, there is no unfortunate thing with Crit Creek because RR is going to kill the Joker once again. You must, Mike's going to take down Harblue, uh, Seymour taking down Platinum. It's a melee on the middle point, but Mixup are already down for you. Power is going to take down Memphis, uh, so there is still a fighting chance for the mix-up right now. And you have Blank getting very angry, bombing in on Power, but not going to be able to kill him. Power with 58 HP is still alive and still shooting. Wow. Um, it looked good for a second. RR with an awesome air crit sticky to drop the Joker mid-quick fix. There is your time back in the hands now of uh, Red of Mix-Up there. 130 and counting. Blue has snuck out their left side as Mix-Up's trying to set up their forward hold here. We'll see if they're able to get in behind. Blue is just going to... I guess just bulldoze their way in behind their scouts, but Mike has got to fight everybody at once here. But oh, Powell with another dome onto RR. Blank and Nosferatu go down this push, completely stall out. Free time now for mix up, and there's really nothing that they can do for the immediate future. Quick fix is going to get popped because why not? It'll be up again in like 30 seconds and minute uh, and counting here. It's getting pretty dire now for yeah. the Mad Men. In this situation, um, when you knew that mix-up was dug in, if I was the Mad Men, I would have gone to Uber Charge and had a four-person bomb while the other person builds Uber. Um, because once you have that Uber pushing middle, you're going to be able to clean up that quick fix. Conversely, right now with the Crits Creek, they're getting properly. Uh, they're trying to go in, but it's, it's not working out for them. Uh, and like you said, that quick fix is up so quickly that I don't know, it's got it right now. Yeah. And Osferatu just started building his crits, so um, 30 seconds they're going to have to do this without Uber, basically. Crits will be up at the very end, but look at the time. They have two minutes left. So much time left um, to try to run off when the other team is basically ready. There goes the bomb by Memphis Vaughn. Does get power, but they have to sacrifice so much to get to power. Quick fix is popped, and actually a great job by Blank shooting the non-quick fixed uh, members of <laughs> Mixup. Here come the scouts trying to form the noose, but look at the time, guys. You gotta start capping oh, right no, now. Oh no, no, healing a spy. That's Harblue. He's down to 9 HP, 12 HP. He's trying to regen the, uh, the pit. <laughs> look at the arrow, another collect arrow. Uh, not gonna, whoa. Not gonna whoa. Um, well, minute 55 and counting. Can they do it? Blue, I'm not sure what their plan is gonna be. They have, they have to make sure they win every single fight, obviously. Um, Power, boy, if he hits any big shots in the next minute 40, gotta think that could be game, could be season. For his former team, this is crazy, it's like Shakespearean almost. Uh, here we go, air shot on the blank, goes down platinum with an air shot. Harblue is gonna get traded off, so not end of the world for the Mad Men here. They have to play perfectly, Justin. Um, Memphis Vaughn is gonna go in, trying to find Power, gets Moose, but no soldiers means they can't jump the sniper, and he's just gonna walk up, they're gonna pop crits to kill the sniper! Are you kidding? On to Mike for point blank. AA Jr. Oh, Chris gets platinum. Quick fix though. Probably about ready to go. Yeah, 100% for him. And I don't know how they stop this. If Mixup gets the point, they get it. That shot, the bubble. An unbelievable shot from power right now. And we do see the quick fix is popped from Mad Men. Uh, excuse me, from the Mixup. Mad Men trying to back up. They need to defend this point. It's zero on the clock for the Mixup. All they have to do is get on the point. Yeah, and they're, they're going to do that. Um, Blue is fighting their hearts out, though. RR is going to drop the Medic. Big, big pick, and they stay alive here. Only three up. Platt, Seagull, Moose. Memphis goes down. Seagull's got a lot of health, a lot of damage out. Only you must Mike remains, and Mike gets him, but he's going to have to now hold this by himself. The point is so far capped, he's going to try to run the cap time down. 30 seconds of counting. Power is up. He's walking out of the point. Mike is going to find him, but there's the quick fixing combo. Times two on the point. Will the soldier get there? No! GG goes out. Oh, man. Heartbreaker for Mad Men. They lose 4-1 to one mix up. Boy, heartless. <laughs> Just crushing them with power, their former teammate. Boy, boy, that's 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 pretty hard way to lose it there. Jeez. Yeah, that's a very frustrating way to go down. Um, power, an excellent sniper, also a high ping sniper. So, you know, that's always an excuse to fall back on with the uh, high ping. But he played his little heart out, and that shot at the, the, the last uh, few seconds there was amazing on you, Must Mike. Um, I really was. Yeah. One of the best shots I've ever seen. That was crazy, and considering the uh, circumstances. Okay, um, well, I, I, I asked Enigma at the start of the game if his team would like to do an interview at the end, um, but he's not online anymore, so I don't know if I have. I have Seagull, so I'll, I'll try to message them guys and see if they want to do an interview. 
Uh, we'll see. Um, so get questions ready. I guess I don't know if I'm allowed in that channel, though. I'll, I'll go. Okay, uh, good call, truck truck, as always. Uh, they're going to come up. I don't know who. If power is going to come up. Looking at the stats, boy, Enigma had a rough game. Only one point for him. Hmm. Let's yeah, pick it up. Come he's right he's just a terrible player, Seabear. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have Siegel and Platinum in right now. I'm not sure if the rest... Oh, and Harp. Uh, I'm not sure if the rest of the team is going to come in here. Smacka needs the token, hilariously enough. I guess he'll come in. So um, I guess pretty much everybody, not sure if Moose and Power are going to come up. Smacka and the heavy classes basically are here. Chat, so go ahead and uh, ask your questions here. Um, I guess the first one that comes to mind is what happened, Carl, or <laughs> Enigma's internet just crapped out, so you guys went and got the backup in and well, got new the, power? The entire night his internet was like disconnecting. Like our scrim, we were playing 5v6 against AG before the match, and he ran like a like a 100-foot Ethernet cable from his other internet connection, and then that died in the match, so we're like, all right, we can't do anything, so we had to bring in power. Sorry, I was giving the token to your teammates. Okay, so that's good. Better than pausing forever. Enigma did warn me, and I, I told the stream as we went live that his internet was crapping out, so that might have been a possibility. Um, so you guys just ended Mad Men's season 4-1, um, to one, pretty dominating at the end. Uh, smack a quick fix all the time. You said in chat that you just want to fly. Um, what, what led you guys to uh, try the quick fix out? I'm assuming it just worked in scrims, and it's fun. It's fun. I don't That's care if it. it works. Actually, what what brought it on was one day Siegel came in to chat to mumble and said, we're running Quick Fix or I'm leaving the team, so... Oh, shit. <laughs> the onus is on him. It's so hard to play, though. Um, no, you're I just have bad to... smacker. <laughs> yeah, our, our and the Crits Creek seem to do pretty well. Did you think that, that their Uber was more effective? I, mean, I, I, I commented at halftime. I didn't think that the Quick Fix did a whole lot. I kind of felt like you guys... I mean, I'm not sure how many fights it won you guys, but maybe I didn't see. Um, did you think that it was effective? I think it wins in fights, and it loses Uber versus Uber a lot of times. But like, you, you heal so much more during the fights, you can just keep everyone healthy there. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the way we try and play with it is, you know, we try not to get into Uber versus Uber situations. We try and either kill their medic before they get it by using the quick fix onto them, or we just try and force them early and then use it later or something. So, yeah, if they have, like, Uber, your quick fix, they'll normally win, but it can be really good if they don't have it and you do have yours. To that point, actually, um, we saw that Memon didn't actually switch off crits. They didn't go quick fix. They didn't go Uber. Do you think that's a direct result of you guys running Quick Fix? Do you think there's? Yes. I think, do you think? But do you think Crits is the counter for a Quick Fix? Or one hundred percent. If you yeah. play it right, but towards the end, all we were doing was show. I was showing myself, and then they were critsing, yeah. and we just walk away the other side. Like, okay, that was. Yeah. There were there were a couple times where I just instinctively used when I heard the crits, and we were in a perfectly safe position. I didn't really need to, but. Crits, crits, if they hit anything, is just going to obliterate anyone that's quick fix, so kind of have to run and hope for the best. It, I think, uh, uh, crits is only sort of a counter to quick fix on like maps where you can easily get the medic and in closed areas, because on Viaducts, it's just you can just RG around with your medic and it becomes, even if they are crits, like what are they going to do? Switch to like a soldier shotgun to try and get you out of the air with your medic or something? And that might not do enough damage to outheal the quick fix Uber or you know an air sticky, which I think actually happened to Smacka once. Yeah, <laughs> I I may have been launched by a soldier directly into a sticky that was flying at my head. There. Yeah, I think I think he or our shot one at you, right? And I rocket jumped, and he yeah. went flying up into it. <laughs> um. Okay, so I'm trying to get good questions from the chat. A lot of people want to know stuff like why power. How could you do that to your former team, etc.? Um, I guess I'll just ask. I mean, what, uh, what do you think? Eliminating a team you played for two years ago, is it or two seasons ago, is it weird at all, or is it just whatever? It seemed like you were you were, you were having a little fun, spamming binds and stuff at them. Well, no, I I don't know. I just had to play, and I just played, and it was fun. That's it. <laughs> all right. Um... Got a good question from Killing. Actually, following up our previous point. Do you think the quick fix should be banned? Oh, come on. 
If you hate TF2, it should be. I think if anything, that game proved that Quick Fix is not necessarily overpowered if you play against it correctly. Yeah, there's tons, I mean, of, there's tons of counters to it, and you know the other thing to just run Quick Fix also. It's it's a it definitely makes medic. You know, having played medic for three seasons, basically, it tempts me to actually want to go back and play medic because before there was no fun parts about medic, and Quick Fix is like the one thing that finally makes medic fun. And if we were to get banned, that's just like a giant middle finger to all medics telling them that they're not allowed to have fun. Yeah, to, uh, I think a lot of the game too, because we all want to see new stuff too, and something that's like a side grade, that if it's like legitimate, you can use it on more than just Viaduct. But sorry, I interrupt you, Plekwin. Oh, I was just going to say it makes Pocket even more fun than it already is too, because, I mean, it, it makes you communicate with your medic more because you got to rotate with him, and you're basically in control of him now. With being able to rocket jump them wherever you want. It's, I don't know, I think it's more fun for everybody. I agree. Um, okay, so we talked about it on uh, Fully Charged, that we'll see it probably tonight, run by you guys, a quick fix. Um, we talked a little bit about how or how legitimate it is on other maps. Is it a Viaduct-only um, weapon, or a King of the Hill-only weapon? Can you see it working? I mean, I don't know if you'd ever want to run it full-time on, like, a Badlands or a Granary. Um, what do you guys think? Is it uh, Viaduct is worked the best. We tried it, it on Gully a bit, and it worked out pretty well. Um, yep. We didn't get too much time to practice it since they only buffed it, I think, the day, the day before that we our played, match. Yeah. yeah, so we didn't really get to practice it too much, but it seemed to work out pretty well on 5 CP, so, you know, with more practice on different maps. I think um, Metal Works, it could really work well on since that map is really big and has some really open areas. I think any map with open areas it could work pretty well on. I think, yeah, I, I don't know if any metagun is really viable full-time besides Uber, but, I mean, I think it's worth at least trying to explore it. Mm-hmm. To, cool. To follow up that, though, do you think running the quick fix forces a team off Uber? Like, do you think that makes them have to go crits if they want to beat the quick fix, or can they still run Uber successfully against the quick fix? Uh, well, unless they're, like, super coordinated, like, I think HRG is probably the only team that could r- rotate their team fast enough to counter the quick fix rotation because of how fast you can just rocket jump around the map to blow up the flank. But, I don't know. I guess we'll see. (laughs) The interesting thing about quick fix is that every map that it isn't viable on is also a soldier map because any, like let's say Granary, I probably wouldn't run the quick fix on that map because it's always indoors trying to push chokes through, you know, demo spam and two soldiers good luck with the quick fix. But at the same time, that's a soldier map where Plat is going to do even better on those maps where we don't want to run the quick fix. Interesting. Um, yeah, we said that it's also situational because sometimes you'll get medical die and it's like, oh man, I can get crits in time maybe at last. And you might see him go, you know, quick fix like Granary last is a nice open point. You can just hop around and go on the big pipe and stuff. Um, that'll be yeah, fun to I've see. I've sort of looked at Quick Fix like it's sort of on all of the open maps that are traditionally scout maps. Now they become even more soldier centric with the Quick Fix, and the pocket becomes a huge part of like oh, these good. traditionally scout maps like Badlands and Viaduct. And then on on the maps where you don't want to run Quick Fix, soldiers are going to be good there too. So I was just really happy they're running Quick Fix because Plek and Carry us all. Um, someone asked, and I didn't get the name. Lame Effects just sent me the question: How does Quick Fix versus Quick Fix work out? Is that Silly, uh, as silly as I might think it is. You whichever, me- and- whichever medic's better is going to win. I mean, honestly, wherever he puts the heels, you know, the quickest, it's going to win. It's completely skill-based at that point. So I think it's it's better than, you know, oh, we just miscalculated their Uber because they were building the faster. Oh, that we lost the fight. No. It was quick fix versus quick fix. You're building all the time, same percentage, and you fight, and it's whoever medic's better, you're going to win. Quick fix only league, season 15. Yes. Um, okay, so, uh, you guys are, I think, you, you can't take, well, unless the tryhards lose, you could get second? No, because they beat you guys, right? So they're, you guys We're are locked locked confirmed in. third, right? That's yeah. the way, okay. Um, thoughts about facing the tryhards is I think that's locked in as well at this point. Um, you guys just lost to them, it was a close match. Um, going into a LAN environment, how do you think you guys fare against them? Uh I mean, if all our players are performing as well as we should be, then I think we're really confident going into it. Moose recently switched his mouse up, and he says he that was a huge difference for him, so hopefully that leads to him having some strong performances this LAN. So I think all of us are really confident going into that. Anyone else want to talk about LAN and how you guys feel going into it? 
Seems like Smack. It seems like you've gotten a lot better. I mean, the quick fix medicking seemed like you were you were having a good time. I can't believe that you actually like playing medic. That's the most shocking part of I, it. you. Of all I people. actually enjoyed it before quick fix. Oddly enough, I know you told me it's kind of crazy. But um, how are you looking forward to doing your first uh, land medicking? Uh, should be fun. The real question is, Smacka, how many parking tickets are you going to get this land? <laughs> no. <laughs> How many parking tickets and how many boots on the on the <laughs> truck? Okay. Um, all right. Well, if anyone else has, I mean, Justin, you have any other questions? I guess I should say. Nope. Okay. Well, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna do shoutouts, though. Let's go down the line, and we'll start with Harb. Is my name at like the top of the list for you or something? You always it's on, call me. Well, it's Bloodsire, me, then you. Oh, oh like interesting. Shoutouts to Marissa. Hi. Okay. Uh, Platinum. Shout out to Enigma. Doesn't even stay in the Mumble channel while we're having our match after he gets thrown out of the server. <laughs> yeah, he's offline for me too. That was pretty funny. Uh, okay, uh, Breaker of Hearts, power. Shout out to Mad Men. Still love him. <laughs> That's so cold. <laughs> Damn, dude. Just rub salt in that wound. All right, uh, Seagull. Shout out to Samuel Lingle. Yeah. Uh, gaming legend. I want to change my shout out to Sam Lingle as well. Okay. I'll make it three. Okay, uh, smack it. Um, I'll give a shout out to RR for landing an incredible air sticky, even though it was a crit. It was good. All right, Justin, anything that you want to say? Uh, you guys, uh, Bloodsire, my my boy, Bloodsire just started streaming a couple days ago. It's uh, Twitch TV. I think it's just Bloodsire, right? B L O O D S I R E. And then it's, it's two L's, and then there's two no, A's. Is A A A well, okay, um, yeah. I thought I saw it. It was just Bloodsire last night. Whatever. Uh, check him out. Um, otherwise, oh, oh, who am I forgetting? Truck Truck, of course, for streaming everything, doing a great job. As always, I don't even know if we're going to cast this game tomorrow now that um, it doesn't mean anything. We had a big problem last season when we casted a game that didn't matter, and I don't want to do that again. We'll just, like, I mean, teams are welcome to have fun. I don't know, maybe we will. May I'm sure it'll be casted somewhere. I'm not sure if we will. Stay tuned to Team Fortress TV. I'm sure Enigma will make a decision uh, either later tonight or tomorrow if we will or not. But um, GG, Mad Men out. AG are the fourth place land team. All four spots are secured, so the rest of Viaduct will be fun. Um, thanks again for a, a fun season, Bloodsire. Um, anything else you want to say before we say goodnight? Shout out to you. You're always a great caster, and it's a it's a pl pleasure to uh, to cast with you. Shout out to Twitch John, who makes all my future computer endeavors possible. Yeah, this guy got a computer sent to him in the mail. Wah! Okay, uh, for Truck Truck, Bloodsire, uh, GGs, and we will see you guys later.